Hey guys, Son of the Living God here on YouTube. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video, audio thing. And um, I just got a new microphone, so this is my first uh, video I'm uploading of my, my myself. <clears throat> I wanted to uh, tell you about my testimony of how I came to Christ. Um, I'm currently 24 years old. I've been an atheist since I was 24 years old, or 23, and I just recently came to Christ four months ago, about there. And um, I, um, how I came to him, I, I was an atheist since the age of 10. I grew up in a Muslim home. wasn't super Muslim or whatever, but. We believed in Allah, you know, and that, <clears throat> and so, but since the age of 10, I just felt like that was wrong, and I was really into science and all that, and I tried to figure out what the world was about, <clears throat> um, about, and I spent my life like this, not ever believing in God or thinking about God or anything like that for a long time till the age of around 20 I started to research about the Illuminati conspiracy theories 9-11 um, stuff like that and I started to and I went through all that and I hit a block you know I just thought okay the Illuminati, the New World Order, it's just some old guys wanting control of the planet, it's not a new idea, you know, and uh, <clears throat> I started researching more and I started looking and I found all these religious or satanic symbols everywhere and I, for the longest time I just thought they just did it for quote-unquote fun I didn't think it was real. I didn't think we had a soul or anything like that. And, um... So I spent a l about three years researching. Every single day, I sat at the computer researching. One way or another. And, um... I started researching... B by the end of it, I started researching alchemy. Because I thought the aliens, quote-unquote aliens, that... <clears throat> because I've seen UFOs and I thought that these aliens were actually alchemists that took the Philosopher's Stone and uh, became you know enlightened beings or whatever and um, so so yeah I started studying alchemy and I I know how to I, I learned how to make gold and silver and all that it's real it works. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so, one night when I was studying these aliens, I thought they were like some reptilian. Because I always saw the snake symbol, the serpent, everywhere. It's literally everywhere if you look for it. And I started researching about it. And uh, these... Um, I thought these serpent people gave the knowledge of the Philosopher's Stone to humans. Because I didn't just think that alchemists were the aliens, you know. I thought that they had given the knowledge to humans. <coughs> and so, uh, sorry, excuse me. And so, I researched that. And one night, I was researching the UFOs and... I really went into it deep after I had read the book of Ra, the law of one or something like that, and uh, that night I looked at um, some very deep information about the aliens, you know, what they look like and why they're here and all that, and some guy had written they wanted to eat our flesh and they were consuming us and all that 
And so I figured that I would join them because, I, you know, I didn't want to get eaten. So I thought, hey, um, well, if they believe in a soul, sure, I don't. So I thought to myself, uh, I could just sell my soul for a bunch of riches and stuff because I wanted to help my family with the money and stuff like that. And uh, so I s stood by my window and I just whispered, you know, that I wanted to sell my soul, that I was willing to obey them and do what they wanted and stuff like that. And that night, <clears throat> I was at, at my laptop in my bed. I wasn't sleepy or anything like that, so. Um, started hearing serpents, like hissing sounds in my head. And uh, this tremendous, unnatural amount of fear gripped me. And it, and it was like waves just hitting me all the time over and over and over again. And every time it did that, it became worse and worse. And I knew, somehow, I knew that if I let go, if I let myself become 100% scared, and I just let go to the fear, I would be consumed by them and I would be taken. And so I fought them, only for five minutes. When I looked at it at the time on the computer, it didn't even go into um, like resting mode or whatever you want to call it. It was just there. Uh, five minutes had passed, and I kept fighting them in my head when it when it, when that was happening. And I told them, you know, if you get away from me, stop. You know, I don't. I I'm changing my mind. I don't want to sell my soul and all that. And they kept going, and I, and it stopped after five minutes. And when it was done, I, I felt like literally, it felt like hours upon hours. I've been, I, I, I've been doing hard labor most of my life. I used to work, I don't know, fifteen hours sometimes, literally just doing hard labor without rest, one break one 10 minute break or so in a day and, and that doesn't even compare to how tired I was after these things and uh, I cannot uh, to explain the fear to you it's impossible you have to experience it it's so powerful so it just eats you it wants to consume you it wants to take you and destroy you and I don't know how I fought it off I don't know what I did, I don't know, but I just knew that if I gave up 100% to the fear, I was at 99.99% scared, okay, if I gave up that last, you know, 0.1%, I would be gone, and so, um, after that, I, I just fell asleep because I was exhausted, and, um, the next morning, I remembered that I felt that same fear before in my life, when I was a kid. And uh, it was right before I prayed to Allah. And after I did a prayer, I always blew down my chest, because, you know, that's how you blow away the evil spirits or whatever in Islam. And um, so I did that. And this same fear came when I was a kid. I remembered it. And it was the same exact fear. And uh, I remember seeing the shadow on the wall of a man with a hat. And I knew instantly that I, that was Satan. I knew like that. I just knew it was Satan. Uh, the devil, Lucifer, whatever you want to call him, her, it. And I was terrified. And every single time I had that fear, I got these visions of looking through a peeping hole. On my door because we live in apartments right most of my life i've been living in apartments and you have those peeping holes where you can see who's knocking on your door and every time i had that fear that peeping hole i would just look through it and i would see all these demons and all these spirits just come after me and i would see satan as this black goo this shadow this whatever it is and uh 
So I remembered that it was the same kind of fear when I woke up the next day. Sorry about that. Uh, my window's open. And uh, I started researching more about it. And I came to this website called CE4 Research. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and I came to this website and people people were talking about how they stopped alien abductions just by calling out to Jesus Christ and I was an atheist I didn't believe what it said on the website I just thought okay whatever and uh, I forgot about it again I was on my laptop this next night right after that and that fear almost felt like it was just a dream you know so or a distant memory just because you know I had it as a kid and so I'm about I'm on my computer again same way and uh, they start to talk to me again in my head with these serpent voices hissing and it's it was terrifying and this and that fear started coming back again and I knew this time I would it was I was done because the amount of oh, sorry the amount of fear just became more and more for every wave and so out of nowhere I just in my mind because I was I couldn't talk I couldn't move I was paralyzed from the fear and no it was not sleep paralysis I've had sleep paralysis several times in my life that is nothing like sleep paralysis um, and uh, these quote-unquote aliens now I know they're demons I uh, kept talking to me in their serpent voice and uh, and this time I felt something stronger like maybe before it was a demon but now it was Satan trying to get me or something like that I don't know but I, in my mind it called out to Jesus I just said Jesus help me I didn't say Jesus Christ I didn't say Yahshua, Yeshua, whatever I just said Jesus help me being an unbeliever, an atheist and it stopped like that instantly and from that day on, I started researching more and more, and I think that's when I got saved. Or on my way to getting saved, because, you know, I didn't know about the gospel yet, and it took me a week or two to get the full picture of how to get saved and stuff like that, because there's a lot of dis disinformation, like Lordship Salvation, but every time I was looking at Lordship, Lordship Salvation, like these uh, heretics, like Levi Price or MacArthur, or or whoever else is, you know, doing that stuff. I got this depressed, horrible feeling in my soul. And so I knew that that couldn't be from God. Either the Bible is fake or these people are lying to me. So I got to the real, the real um, gospel. I knew instantly I was saved. And I started researching about Nephilim, fallen angels, demons, um... You know Satan most importantly I, I researched God I researched his message I haven't even finished the Bible I there's so much things in my life I'm not the best Christian out there because I haven't read the Bible but I want to and I study it a lot I haven't read it but I do study it the, the main points of it I'm against Lordship Salvation I'm against homosexuals, sodomites, whatever you want to call them. I'm against just damnable heresies. And I really love Jesus Christ. That is the true living God. And he saved me. And I just wanted to share this message with you guys. Maybe it will help someone, maybe not. I know it's a long video won't be that fun to watch because I don't have any editing software so it's just gonna probably be a black screen or something but hey what can you do um so yeah I I just wanted to share that with you hope hope you guys research more I, I would I would like for you guys to check out the Jonathan Clack on YouTube and Rob Skiba those are two excellent YouTube channels that I highly recommend. Um, then obviously there's uh, all the other videos I've uploaded so far. 
from Jack Smack and uh, Stephen L. Anderson, great pastor. Uh, they follow the Bible, which is important, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to stall any longer. God bless you guys, and take care.